Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. So today is Friday. We are still in the fourth week of Easter. And for today's gospel, is taken from the gospel of St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. So in today's Gospel reading, Jesus uh, says, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. These words are a powerful reminder to us that even in difficult times, we can find comfort and strength in our faith. So Jesus goes to say, in my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you, I am going there to prepare a place for you. This is a beautiful image of the afterlife where we will be united with God in heaven. It's a reminder that our time on earth is temporary and that we have a glorious eternal home waiting for us. But how do we get there? Jesus tells us, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is a powerful statement that reminds us that salvation comes through faith in Him, in Jesus. He is the path to eternal life. And through Him, we can be saved. As we navigate the challenges of life, let us hold fast to our faith in Jesus. Let us trust that He is preparing a place for us in heaven and that through Him we can find salvation. And let us remember that even when our hearts are troubled, we can find comfort in the promise of eternal life. So my dear brothers and sisters, May God bless you and may the Lord accompany you in the journey of life. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye-bye.